Hi guys and welcome to my tutorial on .m3u files. Now what .m3u files are essentially is a queue or a playlist of files that you want to play in order. Now as you can see I've got my Final Fantasy 7 files right here as .chd files. Now if you haven't already seen that tutorial please do look that up. It allows you to compress .bin files and .q files into one singular file which is the chd and for games that have got multiple discs this is an extremely useful tool in order to have them play in order. So what we want to do is first off create a text document just a random one, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, it doesn't have to be even named. And we go into this text document and all we do is just grab that entire name as it is on the file and we just put it in. We put these in obviously the order that we want it to play in, uh, that's very important. Since it acts as a queue system, this needs to be to the letter. So we put it all like that all in order with the .chd files and it has to stay in the same folder that you save it into where all your files are currently and all you do is you save as and then you can name it Final Fantasy 7 but the important part is is that you put .m3u afterwards now what that's going to do is then change the file so it's still going to keep your text document but it's going to change the saved file as an m3u file and then what you do with that is you upload that itself to retroarch and it allows retroarch to read that file by disk one then disk two then disk three it should eliminate the need to change disks while you're in the emulator and that's the purpose of the m3u file i hope this tutorial has helped you if it has then uh, let me know and if there's any feedback that you would like to give me on this tutorial i'd greatly appreciate that but for now thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time bye bye